Hi, Mum. I'm not going to make the virtual quiz tonight. Yes, I know it's your birthday and we do it every year. And I realise that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now and I make my own choices. And I shouldn't be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. Uncle Marcus, I didn't expect to hear from you. Hey, kid. Listen, I'm really sorry that I missed you at the family meeting last week. Work had this big case, and I, I tried to tell them that it was my last chance to see you. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I know, but I, I really wanted to see you before you went back to LA. I've not seen you in so long. I'm sorry, too. More than you can possibly believe. What's up? Did something happen at the meeting? I mean, other than the we hate... Marcus Club shouting at you about how they could run the business better than you. Yeah. Something did happen, and that's why I needed to talk to you, Abby. I need your help. Yeah, of course. Anything. You know that. Um, what do you want me to do? I need you to investigate a murder. Oh, this is a prank, right? I wish. Murder? Who's been killed? Me. What? <laughs> I... I don't... I don't understand. I've been poisoned. Abby, I'm dying. And it was someone at the family meeting. The family? No. <laughs> no. My doctors have confirmed it. It's the only possible time it could have happened. Someone who was at the family meeting poisoned me. I don't know who, and I don't know how. But they did. But can't they treat you... Can't they... they don't know what the poison was. They're working on it, but they can't start treating me until they know. Well, there must be something that they can do. Oh, oh, I did a lot of hard living in the 80s, kiddo. My body ain't what it used to be. And if they were to treat me with the wrong thing, that could kill me. Sorry, kiddo. How... how long... How long have I got? They say it's hours. This can't be real... That's why I need your help, Abby. I need you to find out who did this tonight. Me? No, I... I can't. I mean... How? The quiz. Everyone's gonna be there, Abby. You need to question them. Find out who in the family wants me dead. What if... What if they find out what I'm doing? What... What will they think? Abby, I'm dying. Who cares what they think? Let me ask you a question, kid. Why are you working in law? Because, because, Mom, the family, they decided that that's what I should do. Exactly. And if you weren't part of this fucked up family and you weren't still looking for their approval, what would you be doing? You know what? Yeah, I know what. I just want you to say it again to make sure you haven't forgotten. I want to design games. So you need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well if one of them's trying to kill you. Okay, you got, you got a point there, kiddo. <sighs> oh, shit. Mum's calling me. Don't answer it. Come on, Abby, ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. Oh, sorry. Hi, Mum. Any particular reason you're making me wait on my birthday? Sorry, Mum, I'm, I'm just getting ready. I don't ask for much, Abby, but I do ask that you respect the family. Family is everything to me. As your grandfather, God rest his soul, used to say, there's me and there's you. And the family's the glue. Ah, oh, you remember it. Well, I suggest you start acting like it. Yes, Mum. Hurry up. Wow, you're right. You really needed to answer that. Well, I should really get to the quiz before Mum kills me. That wasn't meant to be a joke. I know. You can do this. I believe in you, Abby. You know them. You know what makes them tick, right? Use that to your advantage. What if I screw it up? Well, 
I am betting my life on that not happening. Okay, I'll try. I'll be here, listening, <clears throat> and I'll help as much as I can. Remember, Abby, find the poison, find the proof, find the killer. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is probably speaking with Lottie, Toby. If you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. But Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first? No. Well, how about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed? Hi, babe. You okay? Yeah, uh, fine, thanks, babe. So, did you go to the meeting? What? The, uh, the meeting? The one that was at Auntie Jean's house? Oh, the family business thing. Yeah, I went to that. Oh, my God. So much drama. Really? What happened? <laughs> Mum is raging about it. Before you came on, she said she didn't want to talk about it. And then she went off on Uncle Marcus for like a solid five minutes. Honestly, if this quiz doesn't go smoothly, I think she's going to actually have a meltdown. Like she's so embarrassing when she's like that. I'm like, calm down, take a seat, keep your wig on. <laughs> Do you remember if you did a, a round at the last quiz? <laughs> no, babe, I cannot remember the last time I did a round. All I remember from last year is mum's meltdown about the food round. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine getting that worked up about the origin of balsamic vinegar? Well, you should do one. You'd be so good. Really? But, like, what would my subject be? Well, music. Like, about my music? <gasps> I could, like, quiz everyone on my lyrics. Well, yeah, that sounds really great. But maybe it would be a bit difficult for, like, Nan... Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. I could just do, like, a general quiz about me. That's fair, right? Or general questions about pop music? Oh, my God, this is going to be so awesome! <gasps> See how well you guys all know me? You follow me on Insta. If you love my content as much as you say you do, this should be easy! <gasps> okay, see you back in there, babe. Bye. <laughs> How was that? You did good, kid. You got her talking. You got this, Abby. Go find some answers. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Uh, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to... Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We pick a new team each round. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sh <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. Okay, ready? Question one. Grime legend Capsi recently described my debut track as sick, but what is the track called? Or is that too easy? Uh, no, I think it's okay. 
Let's start easy and see how we go. Oh, I completely zoned out of that. What was the question? Uh, what is Lottie's song called? Oh, uh, Songs from a Strangulated Cat. Ballad of a Teenage Narcissist Ho. <laughs> Actually, I do know what it's called. She's rammed it down our throats enough times. It's called Vibin' It. Mm. What does that even mean? It sounds like a massage chair. Or a sex toy. Uh, well, a, a vibe is like a sort of a feeling. Don't patronise me. Sorry, I, I thought Just that... ask the question. My first track is called That and It. <laughs> Not a single wrong answer there. Clearly a lot of fans on the floor tonight. <laughs> Your sister, Abigail, is an asshole. Who does she get it from? Question two. Capsley loved my track so much he had me guessed on his latest song. What's it called? That's something foreign, isn't it? Asian. The word's Asian. What? Just put that down before we run out of time. Asian. That's good enough. Yeah, I can't remember what it is. I said, put the Asian word. Okay. Asian word. The answer is arigato. Oh, yeah. Absolute bloody shit. Can't believe Abby didn't know that one. She shares the link every time I post it. Wait a minute, you, you knew the answer? Yeah. Well, now Lottie said it, it, it Wake does. Up. It, Abigail, I am not going to lose this quiz because of you. Sorry. I wish you heard when at the meeting. Just to see the look on your face. What do you mean? Oh, didn't your precious Uncle Marcus tell you? What? He burnt his hand. Poor lamb. Well, I burnt his hand. Accidentally, but I rather wish I'd thought of it. What, what happened? Well, I had a little stumble and I knocked one of my candles which landed on Marcus and straight away his jumper just woof, up in flames. Now quality clothing does not burn like that so it just goes to show it doesn't matter how much money that man makes he will never not be a cheapskate tight ass. Anyway Toby claims he was just trying to douse the flames so he threw his drink right in Marcus's face, nowhere near the flames. So then your mother threw her drink on him as well, which did put out the fire, which was kind of a shame. But Marcus started wailing like a girl about his hand. He was in agony. So Lottie ran in with a wet rag and started rubbing it all over his burns. It was hilarious. So then your nana got involved and started bandaging his hand. And then Bradley came in with some painkillers and the fun was sort of over really then, which was, Sort of sad, but you know, if it had been just me, I'd have left him to it. But he did look like he'd been dragged through a hedge backwards and forwards again. Very entertaining. Question three. According to a recent poll from my fans, what is my greatest strength? Oh, right. Now, so this is the bit when she starts bragging about her singing voice, isn't it? Actually, I think Lottie might think greatest strength means something else. Like what? I think she means her eyebrows. <laughs> I mean, why are we even playing along with this? These aren't questions. She's just manipulating us into giving her praise and compliments. It is pathetic. I do honestly think she'll say her eyebrows. The answer is obviously my eyebrows. Good Lord, she's worse than I thought. I was really surprised when my fan said that. You know, I was like, what about my legs or like my teeth or my eyes? And they were like, oh yeah, we love them all too, but like it's really hard to pick a favorite. And I was like, yeah, there. What the sweet succulent hell is she talking about? Okay, so question four How many times has dad taken me to Dubai? Oh Christ, that waste of space. Honestly, you should have seen him run for the hills the second Lottie was born. Couldn't see him for dust. Now it's one holiday a year and he thinks he's best daddy in the world. Still, I suppose most affair babies are just forgotten about, aren't they? So I should give him a tiny bit of credit for that. But you're bloody glad he's not your dad, aren't you? I guess so. 
Oh, come along, Abigail. It is very sad that your daddy died, but it's been years now. But I just had to get over it when my daddy died. No moping about for me. And do you know the answer to this or not? I can work it out. Can you now? Yeah, Lottie went to Dubai for the first time for her sixth birthday. I remember it because um, she was really scared, so I made her this lucky charm necklace to wear on the plane for good luck. Anyway, my point uh, is that if she first went to Dubai for her sixth birthday, she's been doing the same thing every year since. Lottie's now 19. With a simple bit of maths... 13. Put that down. Well, I was going to say 14. Yes, well, you're not exactly Carol Vorderman, are you? So just put the answer in. Fine. Yeah, I'll go with 13. The answer is 14 times. Oh, you are terrible at maths, Abigail. <laughs> but you were the one that no, said... I said I didn't want to lose this quiz. It's going to be 15 in a couple of months. Oh, I can't wait. I've got some guest appearances booked while I'm out there and some super fun tie-ins with, like, really great brands. Lottie. Oh, are you seriously expecting us to just sit here and listen to you brag about your dismally self-absorbed and terminally shallow life? Or are you going to ask <sighs> us some proper questions? You know what? Like, fuck you. <clears throat> Someone else can do a round now. It's a miracle. Thanks. I am never teaming up with that freak. Again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. It's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun, right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering any more, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Speaking with your Auntie June is like trying to charm a rattlesnake. <laughs> but I think we got some useful stuff. I also have some new... Oh! oh. <sighs> News that could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's check out everything that we have so far. Yeah, the signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Spandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true! That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin. Actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone player's tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right. And you have aged. What are we playing? I shall perform a recognisable melody and you must simply tell me the name of the piece or to make it easier for the slow ones just tell me the name of the composer. So we're playing name that tune. Then. Yes mother if you like. Fancy being with me June. There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet connection. I mean it's one of my favourite things. Well I might ask a few questions. Well come along then. Let's get it over with. Nimini pimini, nimini pimini, Millicent millipede multiplied majestically, Millicent millipede multiplied majestically. Hey, Abs, you cool? Right, I'm going to be leaving a lot of this quiz to you, yeah? We're still 
in transit here. This is vital work. We can't stop. We've got to build these schools. And we can't risk coming across any of these militias either. And they're not the only danger in a place like this, you know? I wish there were more people like you, Toby. Oh, me too, Abs, me too. Is everyone listening? La 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 Can't hear that. Sorry, Ab. Sound keeps cutting out. Can you whistle it back to me? Uh, okay. Oh, I think it's Beethoven. Can't help you. Sorry, Abs. You got this one, yeah? Look, I don't want to lose this quiz again, so I'm counting on you. Hey, les yeux sur la route. Les yeux sur la route. Everything okay, Toby? Oh, yeah, there's just an old man on the road who looks in pretty desperate shape. I'll tell the driver to, uh, to give him a bottle of water. Ooh. 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 Oh. I tried to think what would happen to these poor people if I wasn't out here risking my life to help them, you know? Uh, I'm... So proud of you, Hey, Toby. that's not why I'm here, but I appreciate it. So uh, I, I think the answer is Beethoven. The what? The, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good to me. Well, now that we've finally got everyone's answers, the correct answer is, obviously, Beethoven's Transcendent Ode to Joy. Yes. Are they all going to be that easy? Now, this second piece is slightly trickier. La la la, la 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 la. Oh my God! Abs, something funny is going on with my screen. No, no, no! I can see it too. I think she's accidentally switched on the filters. Oh, she's going to go Right, who did this? Speak up. Mum, I, I think you did it to yourself. There should be a button on your screen. <laughs> Not a word. You understand? Now send me your answers. I, I don't even remember what she was singing now. <laughs> I think it was Mozart abs. Okay. The thing is, this kind of music, it's not necessarily my bag. No, I'm more interested in the authentic sounds of humanity. You know, music made by all the people that I meet. You know, real music. The music of life. The music of the earth. The music of truth. Well, you must have met some amazing people. Yeah, though to be fair, Abs, they also met me. And that's the beauty of cultural exchange. Right. <laughs> I once met a woman uh, in Nairobi who could take a wooden spoon. The answer I was looking for was, of course, Chopin's heroic polonaise. So anyway, she used to take the... Abby. <laughs> What are you doing? You gotta get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Hundreds of the buggers. I've, they got into the tent. I've never seen so many frogs. So, uh, sorry, Toby, you were just breaking up then. Do you mind telling that story again? Now for an incredibly emotive piece. Do 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 la 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 I mean, gotta be Mozart, right? Maybe. You know, go with your instinct, Tabs. I say Mozart, but if you think something else, then follow your path, you know? I think I know what it is. Mum insisted that we play it at my dad's funeral, even though he really wanted Iron Maiden. The thought of it really made him laugh. Just follow that path, Abs. Follow it. Okay, well, I'm pretty certain it's Beethoven. Cool with me, Abs. That was The Masterful Moonlight Sonata by Ludwig van Beethoven. Now, I must rest for at least a minute before singing again. Otherwise, I risk vocal damage. Talk amongst yourselves. What was the name of that last track again? It sounded really sad, like the kind of miserable shit that Bradley would listen to. Ah, oh, have you spoken to Bradley lately? Before the quiz or uh, at the meeting? No, I didn't chat. I saw him there, yeah. Yeah, I got to Mum's just before the meeting started, but I was busting for a wee. And, you know, if it was up to me, I would have just strolled outside and let rip. You know, because all the water in my body comes from the earth. 
So why not put it straight back? I mean, why do we have to put all these rules and limits on ourselves? Only defecate here. Only take your clothes off here. It's not natural. Uh, it's, what were you saying about Bradley again? Bradley? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so um, I ran upstairs to use the loo, and on the way I passed Bradley's room, and I heard these strange noises, like grunting and swearing. And so I tentatively shove open the door to his little incel wank dungeon, and he's in there and he's tearing it to shreds. I mean, he must have been looking for something. I, mean, I don't know what, I didn't ask, because, you know, well, I, I needed a wee. You know, who wants to know what's in Bradley's mind, right? Nightmare stuff. A very different emotional resonance to this. Next piece. No. Ooh, actually, something feels sore. Better not risk it. Let's move on to the next round. Let someone else have a turn. Hey, good job, Abs. We're not a bad team. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, take care. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I wanted to ask you something. Uh, sure, shoot. I was just wondering about the family meeting. What did I miss? Uh, well, it was pretty tense. Yeah, what happened? Uh, I think Mum tried to kill Marcus. What? OK, kill's a bit strong. She definitely tried to wound him, though. She knocked a candle right onto him, nearly sent him up in flames. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, I heard about that. I thought that was just because, you know, she was drunk. Uh, maybe. I mean, half the time she's a mess. But I think sometimes she's just playing up to it, you know? It gives her a good excuse to say whatever she wants. So you think she might have knocked that candle over on purpose? Before the meeting, Mum kept telling me it was time that Marcus faced the consequences. That's what she said. Consequences. I guess she took matters into her own hands. Oh, God, and the candle stank as well. Oh, I was like... This cannot be good for the planet. It was like she had it made out of pure CFCs or something. So, uh, what Listen, did... Um... Abs, I'd love to chat, but I've got to eat something before the next round starts, yeah? Good talk. Yeah, uh... No worries. Fabulous birthday so far, Flig. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favourite. Abby! Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous, they no, told me to Abby. stop or, or... Oh my God, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they going to do to me? Abby, stop! <laughs> stop! What, <laughs> Marcus? Oh. Are you okay? It's getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. You're the only chance I got. <sighs> Please, Abby. Please. PK. Okay. Listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my run now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lossie, will you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck-up. You... You ever speak to my daughter like that again, oh, and I'll... Flick, I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop! I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not mean you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand some minds here, guys. <laughs> hey, Auntie Felicity, look, just... 
Give me a chance and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby, the only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever again. Oh, thank goodness. I've got a clever one on my team. You're the clever one, Nan. Don't be daft. Okay, everyone concentrating, yeah? This is... It's a little bit different to your typical quiz round. I like to call these empathy exercises. Now, I'll give you a scenario, and you have to relate to that scenario with empathy. Huh? Sounds simple, right? Well, I don't know what he's on about. Great, let's go. Now, imagine you're very poor. You're 12 years old. And you're getting up before sunrise because you have to walk eight miles to get to school. What's going on? Who's walking to school? And, and how far did he say? Eight miles? Well, why don't they just catch the bus? The school must run one. I've got no idea what he's doing. Sounds like he's going into a bit of a lecture. He loves a sermon, our Toby. <laughs> now, this little boy's feet are bleeding, swollen to the... the... Uh, but I, I can't hear a word he's saying. Yep, I muted him. You'll have to teach me how to do that. I think it could come in very handy. I'm, I'm sorry that I, I haven't been round to see you in a while. Oh, don't worry, love. I get updates off your mother. Well, when she can be bothered to check up on you. I was hoping I might see you at the meeting, but I think you made the right choice keeping away. Sounds like I did. Awful it was, love. I don't know how much you've already heard, but there was trouble all over the shop. Even Toby, Mr Peace and Love, he lost it. I was getting myself a drink in the kitchen, and he burst in, in a world of his own, furious with your Uncle Marcus, saying something about how he'd left him no choice. What does that mean? He wouldn't tell me. Do you think we should switch him back on before he notices? <laughs> Probably. And after all that, he's taken, kidnapped by a militia. Can you even comprehend? What a load of nonsense. Abby, Nan, are you concentrating? I haven't had a single response from you yet. What do I say, love? Sh shall I just do a thumbs up? Will that help? We're just discussing the kidnapped boy. OK, what are your thoughts? Nan was saying that... It's an incredibly sad situation, but there are so many factors at play, you know, uh, political instability and um, extreme poverty. Wait, Nan said that? Yes. Nan? Yeah. Said that? She did. I mean, maybe not in those exact words. Do you think this is funny, Abby? Huh? Is that what everyone else thinks too, huh? You all think that this is a joke? What do the others say, love? Probably, yes. You know, I should have known that an exercise like this would be a waste of time on this family. No emotional intelligence at all. You should all be ashamed. Well, someone else do their round so Toby will shut up. No, that's not fair. I want to do a round. No. But it's my turn. No. Listen, love, before I go, there's one thing I've been meaning to ask you. Has your mother spoken to you about your Uncle Marcus lately? No. Why? The, the day of the meeting. It, it, your mother asked us all to get to the house early, before your Uncle Marcus got there. She told us... How did she put it? She wanted him out of the way. She was asking us all there to see if we'd support her in a move to take over the company, to take it off Marcus. Your mum wants to buy him out, but she can't meet his price. I think he's asking for too much just to annoy her. And obviously the company means a lot to him because of his dad. I, I know you try to stay out of all this financial stuff, but the company is for all of us, love. That's how your grandfather wanted it. I know. I think we best get back for the next round. Nan, wait a second. I, I need to tell you.
you something? I knew there was something wrong. What on earth is it? Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. Bad? Well, what do you mean? Someone's hurt him. Someone's... Oh, Abby, tried love. To... He's not going on about that again, is he? About what? That bloke he said was threatening him. What? Well, it was a few years ago now. Marcus had a bit of trouble with an old business partner. Marcus thought he was trying to kill him. What? Got in a right state over it. Said the bloke was threatening him, sending him violent emails. Well, because the emails were anonymous, so any bloody one could have been sending them. Apparently, he didn't leave his house for months. He was absolutely convinced someone was trying to kill him. Well, nothing happened, of course. If you ask me, he made the whole thing up. He has got a very active imagination, after all. I can't believe he never told you. You're very close, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. I wonder why he kept it from you. Abby? No, I, I'm fine, honestly. Thank, thank you for telling me. You going to be all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Right, then. See you for the next round. <laughs> Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please, please. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't going to follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby? It just doesn't make any sense. You you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! <laughs> Look. Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just know this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. I, I believe you. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. So I think some of the stuff that Nan said um, helps us. Are you okay? Do you hear that? Hear what? The rats, they're running all over my floor. I can't hear anything. Fucking worms, ah! What? They're crawling down my neck, Abby. Uh, I, I can't see anything. What? There's nothing there. Are you sure? Yeah. The hallucinations have started then. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. I better get back in there then. Wait. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to help you much longer. <coughs> Uncle Mark. <Please. laughs> what is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth.
I guess this is it. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? She's had a cellar full. Look, nobody has anything ready. But I do. I have questions. Lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. I'm delighted. Oh, hello, love. Hi. Heaven help us with your Auntie June doing a round. <laughs> Question <laughs> one. Who stole my car when he was 14 and drove it into the side of a bus stop? Oh, crikey. Which one was that now? It, it was Toby, wasn't it? Some protest or something. Wait, no. Was that with a quad bike? Yeah, I, I think I know this one. I think it was Bradley. In all honesty, love, it could have been either of them. You'd never call June an attentive mother. The correct answer is Bradley. Oh, how it makes me proud. Oh, dear. June's on the warpath. Question two. What did my own mother get me for my 10th birthday? So I'll give you a little clue. It's always the same thing every year. And it starts with an F and ends in a call. Now, I'm just... Forget about Auntie June uh, for a second. I, I need to ask you something. OK. Did you see anyone acting suspicious around Uncle Marcus at, at the family meeting? No. Nothing, dear. Why? Someone in the family has tried to kill him. What on earth are you talking about, love? Nan, if you saw anything, it, now is the time to say. <laughs> I'm sorry, Abby. This is all a bit of a shock. I can't really think. But I'm sure Marcus was absolutely fine when he got to the meeting and absolutely fine when he left. What on earth's going on? I'm sorry, Nan. I, I, I shouldn't be involving you in this. I'm, I'm OK. The answer we were looking for is nothing. Absolutely nothing. But you never forget Flick's birthday, do you, Mummy? Abby, I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote now, I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. It's okay, Abby. Whatever happens, happens. Just choose, please. It's Thallium. If you say so, kid. <sighs> chin chin. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Now 
Abby. Now why don't you go and finish this thing? I... I can do this. Well, where the hell have you been? Which one of you did it? Abby, are you okay? Who did it? Abby, explain yourself. You tried to kill him! Who poisoned Uncle Marcus? I don't get it. Who was it? Who wanted to murder Uncle Marcus? Abby, love, calm down. No They one... did, Nan, they, they fucking did! Abby, cut this out now. Who fucking did it? Right, that's enough, I warned you once. You bastards! Hey, kid. I, I, I don't know who did it. I'm, Abby, Abby. I'm so sorry. It's I, okay. I, you saved me. Abby, you've done enough. Now for the rest of them. This ain't over. Ow, 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 ow,